Okay. And then this is like a key. It's basically to turn the power or on, on or off. On, and then you have keys to lock it, and then you have additional keys here for your straps and your bars that have right. locks on. So, okay. Okay, so you have that. So basically, you know, to, it's pretty simple to operate. You just push it in and turn it on, and it gives you the power. Okay. So you don't have to be hooked up as long as you have power. power. You can raise and lower it, do whatever. Uh, if you want to load a vehicle while it's, you know, down, you can because the back will be down, but with the wheel on it, it still may move some. So Okay. Uh, when you hook up with a ball, you should be 16 to 18 inches, inches high. high. Okay. So that's pretty simple. And what's really important about that is uh, sometimes when you raise the trailer up, um, and maybe one of the back doesn't lock in yeah. because it's not set it's right. White. You know, yes, if you hit a bump, it'll lock in. Yeah, or, but, you know, if yeah. you hit a jack, it'll do it. But you don't want to have to go through, through all that. that. So if you're 16 to 18 inches, um, it, it's perfect. It'll, it'll, it'll lay flat, you know, and it, it's so light. This trailer is, what, 12, 1,300 pounds. pounds. And um, it, it, it's so simple. So that's the power, but so before you say now we want to lower it down because we want to load a car. So we, of course, turn, we turn on turn the power, power and all you have to do is come back to all four wheels and you have a, right here you have a, a lock. Yeah. So you just unlock okay. it. Okay. Just like that and then the same with the other side. So you just unlock it. It's that simple. Okay. And then all you have to do is either you could use the remote or you can use, use the, the button. button on the so this this is what you Yeah, that's what he did. That you yeah, just that lifted right it. There. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I have two remotes here. Yep. Um, one is for the trailer. And the other remote is for the recovery. Oh, cool! Ones. So you can do to operate it. So you have the power on. You got to yep. press and hold both oh, buttons, the up and down, till you get a red light come on. And it has music. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, is that one of those my, cool flip my ones? Is. She got her new phone, so she's trying to call me. She don't know. I'm going through a demo right now. I apologize. Okay, so now when you press and hold till the red light's on, and yep. all you have to do is press it down, and you can look at the trailer. Okay. Okay. Isn't really you know, there's stuff over there. Yeah, so I don't, like yeah, I don't go all the way down. But, but you can also, if you want to go lower, you can you can o always um, lower that down just a little bit. Lower lower this down, and then. Then it's even more flat, so I don't know how low your car is, but yeah. you know this is really up pretty high. Right. And or if you don't use the remote or your battery goes yeah. dead, you can you use the, this button right okay. here. So I'm going to raise it back up. And does it just stop automatically? Yeah. It will stop automatically and all the way up. And then once once your car is on, for example, and you raise it up. Then you just go back and, and hit your lock buttons to make sure it's secure. So just go back and hit your buttons. And... All right. And that's pretty pretty simple. Now, I just noticed what I was trying to tell you because that's so so far up. It's going to go all, all in all the way. So yeah. I have this gap here. So that's why it's important to, you know, set the um, the height, height of the trailer correctly. So a little too high. So let's just let's put it down a little bit. And I know if it goes in, because I'm gonna hit this button again. There you go. You should it locked yeah. in. So. I just noticed they're a little, little finicky. So now there's no gap, right? Well, it should have been a little bit. The back one, because yeah. this one's oh, locked. Oh, that one. Oh. And now, as you notice, it went in, and there's no gap. Okay. 
So that's one thing I learned that no one taught me. And I was sitting there struggling with that. I'm like, what is wrong with this? <laughs> so I wanted to pass that on to make sure you're aware. Now the winch, if you say you're broke down, you got a remote for the winch too. So when, um, Trader, once you're done using the remote, they press and hold them both together yeah. and the light goes out. Oh. You're good to go. So you can take this winch and move it to either, either side. side, which is good. And then, you know, you can sit there and unlock it and then you can just grab it and run it out. Oh. I said, once you do that, you can just put it back and then go to your go to your winch. winch. And it's the same thing. Then you just double hold it until the light comes on. Another battery. I'm starting to say probably needs just another battery. Yeah, in there. it's a battery. They're, they're pretty good. They don't. They, hardly people use their winches too much. Anyway. Yeah. Does this have a fail safe in case the battery goes out? No, like, um, I don't. I don't think no. Okay. It, it don't. Okay. I, there's nothing I can do to, to crank so it, crank it, or anything. Maybe we're gonna drive it on anyway. Oh, okay. That's the that, okay. That's the winch the car on. Yeah, okay. I would definitely get a battery. They just had this yeah. hanging up, and it probably just went dead. I would yeah. get a couple of them. Keep them. Um, okay. To, to make sure. Yep. Uh, but you know when you're in the car it's good to have the remote because once it's if you're not in the car and you lower it it's going to be too high you're not going to be able to open the door yeah so when you're in you get your vehicle set where you need it have the remote or somebody has to come out here, here and so you can it. get in and out yep okay but it's that simple it's uh it's super light it tracks straight um you know you don't even know the things back behind you so Let's see what else I got. Okay, so here's a socket. I donh, think we got theirs. This socket right here is basically for your, for your wheels. So if you want to torque them down, down, if you ever have to torque this one's been done, you don't even have to worry, worry about, about it, it, which is good because it, they torque at 98 foot pound of torque. Okay. You know, I usually set my torque wrench at 100. 100 that's what I do. I might yeah, set it at 100. So you, you have a socket right there. And then, of course, you had a, a manual right here, okay? Okay. And then, um, these are your remotes. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's really simple, but I like it because once my straps are set, I just, you know, when I unload and I leave it down, and when I bring my car, I load it back up, put it right in the same spot, I just throw the straps over. I'm, I'm down the road when people are still struggling. Stra yeah. I'm out of here, and I'm not, I haven't been on my knees. My knees hurt already. Is <laughs> but, um, like, Jeff, Ronnie, how did... Guy, Hmm? How does this work? I, I know how do you to, know how to yes, do that? I know okay. How to put okay. All right. Butter. So should be good to go. Now, there's one last thing I do want to share with you. So once you raise this up and you put it on, you have this wheel. You, that we, the I, wheel that goes yeah, there. Yeah, the wheel. Yeah. I removed the wheel. Okay. And I'll show you that once we hook up okay. on your okay. truck. That way, if you get down and you don't want to sit there and be dragging, dragging that wheel. That wheel. Yeah. But it goes on and off super, super easy. Super easy. And I just throw it in here. Okay. Okay. You know, and then when I, so that's the only thing that's any kind of real labor that I have to I have do, to do. Is, is, is that. Right okay. Let me, I'm going to go grab my truck. I'll pull down and turn around. And, and will you show um, me again yeah. on this one where the, uh, the, how to put the spare wheel? Well, there's, just, there's three prongs there's underneath. underneath. You know? It's okay. right under here. And it's, that one has a spare tire if you want to look underneath real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show you this on this side. And if you get down, you can actually see the spare wheel, you know, up right there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. So it's pretty simple. I see he has three, like, three lug nuts and put them on there and that, that way and keep his spare there. Gotcha. That's all, all boy knowledge stuff. Yeah, he... You'll get it. Um, I just want to make sure you had new straps. I don't want to I appreciate that. Like set up and stuff like that. So. All right. What I'm going to do. I'm gonna, this thing is so light though. I can, oh, it's probably got it. 